Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry I've been a bit quiet. As you know, I had a really bad accident and I'm recovering. And to be honest, I just wasn't in no sort of fit state really to sort of do a lot of filming. Um, obviously I've done a little bit and as you can see, obviously in those videos, I was on medication and I just was so drained and so tired. And it's been eight weeks now, and I'm sorry that I haven't posted anything for a long time. Obviously, me doing, like, videos like this, and, like, obviously speaking and doing funny videos and da 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 But I've been posting a lot of what I've been doing in my spare time, and that is doing a lot of artwork. And, obviously, with doing artwork, it's kept my mind busy. It's kept, obviously, my brain active, because, um, obviously... When I done my accident, obviously I've really badly um, done really damaged. Done really damaged. <laughs> I really damaged my foot, my left foot. There's four sort of breaks in my foot, and um, obviously my face was out here. I had a hem hem hematoma in my face. Um, it's gone down massively, but as you can see in the light, it's still bruised. And to be honest. It's been eight weeks. My foot was really badly bruised. And all the bruising has gone off my foot now. But in my eye, it's not going. And I'm a little bit concerned that it might still be there um, for a long time. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have to see a specialist about that. Because I would have thought that would have gone by now. But it's not going. And obviously through my accident, obviously through the stress and all of it, I've now got grey hair. Which is fine. It don't bother me. But I'm like, oh my God, I've got like white hair on the sides. Um, I'm wearing a hat because obviously my hair's really long. It needs cut in. Uh, a bit of an update. It's been, yeah, it's been about like eight weeks. Um, I've got physio tomorrow. The first time I'm seeing physio, I've done an appointment over the phone. Like, you know, ringing. Um, con like a cons not consultation. Um... Um, all over the place at the moment. <laughs> Basically, I had a physio appointment, but um, I couldn't make it, <clears throat> so she done it over the phone for me. So that was about two weeks ago. So it's going to be my first time seeing the physio tomorrow, and she's going to be putting me on a balance board because at the moment I can't walk at all. I have to use my crutches, and I have to go through. Um, Go free. Oh, God, man, what are you on today? Uh, boot. This is my boot that I have to wear. So any walking or anything like that, I have to use the boot. But as you can see, I'm a lot better. My face has gone right down. Thank God, because that was really bad. I was um, unsure whether to do that video, obviously, when I had my accident. Um, I know I had a few comments saying, oh, there's more going on in the world and stuff like that. I appreciate that. But the people that are following me, the people that are following me from day one, obviously want to know how I am. So i done that video, you know, not for self-pity for myself, just to show people, obviously I'm okay, but you're not going to hear from me for a while because obviously I've gone through this accident and basically I was in no fit state to do any filming whatsoever. I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, yeah, so I thought I'll do an update for you all. And I'm sorry if I'm, obviously, if it offended the people that, obviously, that I put that video up. But it was not like, you know, I'm just in the middle of making a coffee in a minute. It's not for, um, you know, I'll feel sorry for me at all, because not at all. Um, I understand there's a lot of um, stuff going on in the world at the moment. And obviously through the pandemic and stuff. And it's so, so sad. And um, I've been doing loads and loads of artwork and drawing and helping people through that. Um, I'm also on TikTok. So I've been doing a lot of my artwork through TikTok and that has got a good response. It's helping a lot of people. Um, and yeah, I've been just doing loads of stuff like that, really. So I thought I'll do an update on my YouTube channel. And yeah, just see how everyone is. And I've just made a coffee. Mm. Oh, nice. So yeah, that's that's pretty much at the, um, what's going on at the moment with me. Uh, like I say, it's been eight weeks. Um, I'm healing. 
I'm a lot better. If you've not seen my video before, my accident, not if you've not seen my video when um I done my accident and you can see the state of like what I was in and the stuff like that, so you can appreciate why I haven't done many videos. I done a recovery video, sort of an up to date and everything, but it was just annoying people, do you know what I mean? I was getting quite a few like nasty comments and stuff which I had to just delete them off, do you know what I mean? Because it's not fair. Um, so I thought, right, I'm upsetting people, so I won't do any more. So I have started doing like artwork and stuff, and I've been putting that up. Um, you know, my art is like keeping me active, do you know what I mean? Because I'm so used to going to work, you know, um, wake up in the morning and I'm straight to work, you know, and I don't finish work till like seven, eight, some nights, you know. So for me to be at home, um, you know, for this amount of time. I know, obviously, through lockdown, we're at home, and I wrote my own book, which is doing really well. I'm so pleased. I'm in the process of doing my book, too. But I didn't want to do it all at once, do you know what I mean? You know, um, I knew I'd have a lot of weeks off from work, from healing my recovery. So I didn't want to do, like, loads of my book and stuff. So I thought I'll mix it up a little bit. I'll do a bit of artwork. And I've always enjoyed doing art um, since I was little and stuff like that and doing it at school. And yeah, through my accident, it's brought out me doing my artwork, which is good. I'm in the process of getting some merchandise done with my artwork and it's to help the bullying and the mental health and stuff like that. So my artwork is helping a lot of people. It's getting a really strong message across and it's got a really good response. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. And I hope everyone's okay, doing really well. And like I said, I'm sorry that I haven't posted many videos, because obviously when I did, some people, you know, are like, oh, you know, you've only got a broken foot, you know, there's so much more going on, and I appreciate that. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to take a step back, and I'm just going to concentrate on what I want to do, doing my artwork and stuff like that, getting me... Uh, in a, you know, fit mentally state, because obviously when, you know, you're so used to, like, you know, um, doing loads of stuff, like, every day, like, I'm seeing so many clients, and I'm a creative person, I do all my hair and stuff like that, so for that to be taken away from me, and me just being at home, I'm like, oh my god, do you know what I mean? So I had to get myself in that mental state, um, that, it'll get me through, do you know what I mean? Um, I just, it just made me think, like, don't take life for granted, because obviously, like, one day I was, you know, all fine, going to work, doing loads and loads of colours, because it was literally just after the pandemic of lockdown, I went back straight back to work, and I was literally so busy with all my colour work and that, and I was getting so into it, really excited, like, you know, um, creating lots of nice stuff and fixing some disasters, what people have done at home themselves through lockdown. And I was really getting into it. And then just one night, my bad accident, and it's all changed. It's all changed for the last eight weeks. I haven't obviously been out of the house. The only time I've been out of the house is obviously go to the hospital and obviously have my x-rays done and obviously have my cl um, class cast put on and stuff like that like like checkups and stuff and now I've obviously got the boot I've got to go back in I think it's like three weeks time to have obviously uh, uh you know um, another appointment with the doctor make sure that I'm okay and obviously I might have to like not have the boot or might have to have it for another couple of weeks we don't know um it's quite a bad sort of injury at the moment I thought I would be able to walk after eight weeks I can't walk at all at the moment unless obviously it's with crutches so I know I'm rambling on, but it's because I haven't been on. I haven't done this for such a long time. I just want to get everything out, do you know what I mean? And just make sure everyone's okay, that I'm okay, I'm good. I'm mentally okay, it's fine. Um, I must admit, I have uh, had a few days... Oh, this bit of hair is annoying me there, because it needs cutting. I, I must admit, I had a few couple of days where I was literally... Oh, my God. It literally got to me, and I was a little bit down, but... I got myself out of it. I'd done more artwork. I literally just focused and focused and focused on my art. You know, like when I was younger, I'd done art. I'd done music and like, you know, on the piano and stuff like that. 
and um, I used to write, I used to write. So basically, I'm going back in time to when I was younger, when I didn't really go out much and play with friends. I was a bit of a loner. I just done my own thing, really. I had a few friends, don't get me wrong. But I enjoyed my own company in that my own room. I'd done, like, like I was saying, like, all my art, and I used to, like, write little stories. I used to do little um, movies with my action figures and stuff like that. So I'm a very, very creative person. So I thought... The only way that I can get through this, because I was because obviously my partner's at work and everything, and I don't want obviously like my parents to come around every day. Do you know what I mean? Because they need their time as well, and um, like my friends and stuff like that. You know, obviously from the salon they've come and um, seen me and stuff, which is lovely. But I thought no, I need to do this myself because obviously I need to get through each day for the last eight weeks. So as you see, I've been posting lots of artwork on my YouTube channel and it's getting me through. And obviously my artwork is um, got a bit of attention and people want my artwork on like t-shirts and hoodies and hats and scarves and so much more. Do you know what I mean? It's amazing. I literally um, just put a few things like on my TikTok, and it's gone crazy, absolutely crazy. I've got a hashtag, it's my art love, which has um, got 2 million views. It's absolutely crazy. So I wanted to share that with you on here as well. I know obviously I've posted my art and stuff, which is really good, but I wanted to come on and I wanted to, you know, tell you what I'm get um what I'm up to. I'm doing okay and stuff like that. I know I'm probably gonna get a few people going, eh, 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 but at the end of the day I'm doing it for myself and I'm doing it to show you all that I'm okay and I can get through this and so can you. If you're at home and you know you're not feeling very well at all with your mental state and stuff like that, it's absolutely fine. You're not on your own. You're not on your own and Part of me thinks that I should have done a lot more, obviously, videos on my YouTube through the process and stuff. But when when you're not, like, um, uh, what's the word? I'm trying to think now. I'm trying to think now. Ugh, it's annoying me, it's annoying me. When you're not quite right, like in your mindset and that, you need to take your own time and space. And a lot of the time, the social media can sort of, you know, take over your life, basically. And you forget about what's around you. And I just think, well, I'm always at work. I've got a lovely home and, you know, a lovely partner and lovely two dogs and stuff like that. And I thought, you know what? Um, my partner had like two weeks off work as well. And it was really nice, do you know what I mean? Because obviously I'm at work all the time. We don't get to spend a lot of time together. So I literally just cut ties off everything and concentrated on myself and my sort of like personal life as well. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously with the social media, it's very, very good. But you, there's there's got to be that balance, do you know what I mean? You've, you've got to find that balance because otherwise it can literally just take over and you forget about what's around you. So, um, I've been doing that as well, so, which is really good. But yeah, I thought I'll do a video today just to let you know how all I am, all, ugh, I can't get my words out today, just to let you know that I'm okay. And that is all good. And I've had some lovely comments, like, oh, my, we miss you, um, where are you? I'm here, I'm good, I'm fine. I'm a lot better than I was a couple of weeks ago. I'm getting a lot stronger each day and um, my aim is now just to focus um, on walking basically, learning how to walk again. And it just makes you, it just makes you, just makes you realise that never ever take life for granted, do you know what I mean? Because one day, it, you know, you're doing your normal thing and something can happen and it can be taken away just like that. Um... And I'm so, so lucky that I'm healing and that I will be able to, sort of, like, walk again. Because, obviously, there are people out there that, are, you know, can't walk and they are in wheelchairs. And, you know, it's massively changed their life. They might have been born with it or they may have had a huge accident and stuff like that. And 
you know, and they're such brave people, absolutely brave people, and it's taught me a lesson, um, not to take things for granted, and it's, it's funny how your body adapts to, uh, different circumstances, because I had to find different ways of getting around, you know, and it's, amazing how your body adapts so so quickly and yeah it's it's incredible and I thank every one of you for your love and support and it's been absolutely amazing 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 journey on my YouTube with the love and support from everyone I'm glad that you like all my content and I'm glad that it can help people you know um get stronger you know, if you're suffering with the mental health and everything like that. But yeah, so that's what's happening at the moment, really. And I just want to thank you all so much for your love and support. Look how long my hair is. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this video. Because I'm, I'm in an RM, whether to do like a sort of um, like a recovery one again, you know on what stage I'm at now, um, maybe sort of like doing a few sort of videos like showing you how like, I am on the crutches and stuff like that, I don't know, I really don't know, it's it's a difficult one isn't it, you know, you don't want to offend other people, but at the end of the day it's my channel and if people follow me from day one and they want to know how I, how I am, well why can't I do that, you know, um, you know, I've helped people from day one with their mental health, um and making them like stronger each day my videos inspire them and stuff like that and I just don't want to feel like I'm sort of like letting anyone down on here you know and I just want to just just help in any way you know what I'm like I, I love helping people and that's me that's me as a person um also um if you are on TikTok yourself go and follow me on TikTok it's Martin Rowley one um, Give me a follow and you can see all my content that I've been doing on there as well. So I just want to sort of like help as many people. And yeah, I hope you like this video. And I've been rambling on a little bit, but I haven't been on here for ages. And I just want to like get everything out and just say, yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. And yeah, I've, I've missed, I've missed so much doing my filming. I absolutely missed it so much. And I, you know, thank every one of you for your love and support. And I'm I'm here, I'm good, I'm fine. And yeah, I'm I'm happy and I'm back. I'm back. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe. Here we go again. Please like. Um, yeah, please give me a thumbs up. Please like. Uh, please um, subscribe. Please share because sharing is caring. And yeah, it's not long now till like Christmas and it's so exciting. And yeah, I've got some decorations up already. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I've just loved, loved, loved doing this filming today. It's been amazing, absolutely amazing. And I'm drinking coffee. Uh, I've just missed everyone. I've missed doing this so, so much. So if you liked my video today, please give me a message down below. Let me know. Let me know who's like watching and who's still following me and like my content. What do you want to see? What do you, you know, at the moment, as you know, I'm going through my recovery, through my accident. So I can't sort of do like, I'm not going outside at the moment or anything like that. I just, I'm petrified of falling over outside and damaging my foot again. So until I get stronger, like be able to walk and stuff like that, then I will. But at the moment, I'm just, I'm a little bit on edge at the moment, if I'm being honest with you. Because obviously walking outside, there's curbs and stuff like that. I've only got to literally misplace my crutch and then I'm on the floor again. And I'm, I've done so, so well for the last eight weeks. I've followed every instruction by the book, do you know what I mean? And it's healing really, really good. And I just don't want to mess it all up. So let me know what video you want me to do. Um, you know, if you want me to talk about something or, uh, you know, I've wrote my own book and that, you know, do you want me to sort of like read like one, 
like chapter from um my book obviously there's some on my youtube already i think i read up to like chapter four or something so if you want me to read any more if you want me to show you some of my artwork um if you want like advice um any help with anything please let me know please message me down below in the comments box and let me know that you've watched this you've liked it or you don't like it it do you know what i mean it's it's like your taste buds do you know what i mean you might like it and you might not but i know there are people on here that have followed me from day one and they will love this and they'll really appreciate it and i really thank you all so much but like I say, if there's anything that you want me to do, talk about or anything, bearing in mind, I can't, like, obviously walk very well with crutches. Well, unless with crutches and stuff like that. But obviously, I'm here on my own, so obviously I'm filming. So I can't sort of, like, walk and, like, film and stuff like that with crutches. So that's a bit difficult. But anything else, you know, just let me know. All right, well, thank you so much for listening and hear me rambling on, blah, 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 blah. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed doing this today and it's helped me massively. And I really hope that um, it's helped you too. And yeah, I'll see you all soon. Like I said, don't forget to give me thumbs up, a like and subscribe and share because sharing is caring. See you later. Bye.